How is it going everyone? It's Ari from EB Games here and in today's video I'm going to be getting you connected and getting you streaming. So in front of me here I have the Logitech Stream Cam which is a webcam for your PC or your Mac. Obviously marketed towards streamers but also this is a webcam that I think everyone should just have anyway because there's a bunch of things inside of this that your standard webcam out there that you're probably used to just doesn't have. So in front of me, I have the Logitech Stream Cam. Now, right off the bat, one of the things that I love about this camera is that it doesn't just look like your standard webcam that you're used to in the past, either a tiny little dot in a laptop or just something that looks a little bit janky and weird. I'm absolutely loving the design and style that they've gone for in the Logitech Stream Cam. So this comes in two colors. There is a white and a black one. I've got the white one in front of me here today, but as you can tell, it goes from like the white plastic body into what I'm pretty sure is like a fabric interior on the inside there, but it's all about how it makes you look. So let's just jump into the functionality of how this works and how it can fit into your stream setup or even just for your standard webcam that you use at home. So the Logitech Stream Cam can shoot at 1080p at 60 frames a second. If you've used a standard webcam in the past, it's either built into a laptop or something like that, your general experience with those webcams is a super low frame rate and a really dodgy exposure that either makes your face completely overexposed or underexposed. Having 60 frames a second at 1080p means that you both look crisp and also then when you're moving around, it doesn't look like that you just suddenly become a stop motion animation. You can also change the resolution and frame rate and also the different video outputs from this depending on the software that you're using to stream or what you're using just to use this as a normal webcam. Inside the box, you have two different mounts here. So the first one is a mount that you probably already be used to, which is something that can just clip right onto the top of your monitor. And then the second mount here is something that can screw onto a tripod. So if you have a mini tripod on your desk or a bigger one off to the side, you can really angle this exactly where you want it and not just be limited to where you have your monitors and having to work around that. So having something like this means you can get the perfect angle that you want if you're gonna be streaming. And talking about orientation and position, the Logitech Stream Cam has got something that I haven't seen in other cameras. So as you can tell, the Logitech logo on the side here is kind of inverted. And that is because this can actually go from landscape mode into portrait mode, depending on the type of setup that you have. You can flip between portrait and vertical, and this will then actually orientate its sensor, so it actually flips what's up and down on the video output. So that's all well and cool, just having this functionality to put it exactly where you want it to be, but if the video doesn't really look that good, then what's the point? What I love about the Logitech Stream Cam, in my experience, this webcam accurately matches skin tones will as best as possible than any other webcam that I've personally used in the past. And I don't have to do too much, if any, color correction to that in the software, but you can also download Logitech Capture, which is an awesome program, which lets you customize the output of this before it goes to any other program. So in that, you can do chroma keying to get rid of green screen in the background. You can change the colors and settings and really just optimize this output to exactly what you want it to look like. So inside of this webcam, it's got an f-stop of 2.0, which is pretty low for a lens, especially for a webcam, which means that it can let in a lot more light in the Scene. So if you're in more of a darker environment, it'll actually be able to pick up the details in your face. With the lower f-stop, you also get more depth of field or that blur effect in the background. So with that, Logitech has shoved into this face tracking, which tracks your face in movement and will always keep it in focus wherever you are sitting in your seat, as well as automatic exposure to your face. So if your lights change in your room, it's very quick to adjust its automatic exposure to make sure that you're both in focus and looking good and your skin tones look tight. And I felt that it did that rather quickly as well. It caught on pretty quick and adjusted to my face as quick as I could and I couldn't even really notice it doing it. And you also don't have to keep on be fiddling with where it is to make sure you're in frame because with face tracking inside of this, it's got a feature that it'll digitally lock onto your face and just make sure that is in the center at all times. So if you're streaming and you're moving back and forth in a game or maybe something gets really intense and you lean forward in your seat, on your stream, your face will still be where it should be. So it'll do all of that within its 78 degrees field of view. And on top of this, if you're gonna be using this as a general webcam to take around with you, and if you don't have a secondary microphone setup, inside of here is actually a stereo microphone setup. So with all of that, there's a lot of stuff that this webcam's outputting. So hardwired into this is a USB-C port. So it's better able to transfer all of this video and audio from the webcam to the computer as fast as possible with no lag and to be as fluid as possible. So you will just need to have a USB-C input into your computer in order to use this. So purely just based on the video output out of this, I think it's a solid camera that makes you look good, which that's what you want out of a webcam. Your skin tones look great and being able to record an output at 60 frames a second. So this is something that kind of just gets out of the way, lets you do your thing 
and makes you look good while doing it. If you're keen to get your hands on one of these, there's a link in the description. If you like the video, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't, because there's a lot of cool stuff like this coming out on the channel in the future. Thanks again for watching. This is Ari from EB Games, and I'll catch you next time.